Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. I realised whilst editing that I didn't film an intro for the vlog style thing that you're going to be watching in a moment, so I thought I'd just really quickly do that now. So basically what I did is I just kind of picked up the camera at random parts throughout my week to kind of show you what was going on. This footage is like a week old now because um, I was really crazy with work last week so I just didn't get a chance to edit so I just decided to skip a week. Which is why this video seems a bit outdated because it's going to include some of the footage of me getting Ninjago City Gardens which if you follow me on Instagram you know I've actually already built and just currently in my city just out of shot. Um, so I'm going to be obviously talking about that at some point in the future because it's absolutely an amazing set that I must speak about to you all. I really enjoy like filming vlog style videos and I kind of hope that you do as well. Anyway, without further ado, here's what my week looked like. So before I put this all away, I thought I'd take a little quick video. So these are my biggest two orders that I've placed on Bricklink ever. And I thought it'd be really fun to share. So I've ordered some sticker sheet from these sellers because I never thought about it, but I saw online of like, obviously, if you want to add more detail, just order random stickers that could give the detail you want. So I've got some more of the uh, proclamations and the tiles they go on to, as well as some more graveyard things so I can add more detail there. And some cool like signs and stuff that I can maybe add, like um, the diner here. So I've got some cool stickers here, some minifig parts, some tiles and jumper plates, because I asked for some advice from people on what I should order to kind of add more detail to cities. I've also decided to start adding trees. Um, and I really like the modular birch tree that they that comes with a bookshop. So I decided to order like start ordering the parts for that because um, it looks cool. And if I can add more to the city, that'd be great. Also, this is the shop that I got that order from. They didn't have a card, but there are some of the stickers that I got. Obviously, I'm not using all of them, but some of them on there are cool and they weren't that expensive. Some masonry bricks, some more random parts, some cool red bricks that I loved more lanterns, all that kind of stuff so I can add more detail to the city and really finish it off and make it look beautiful. So it's very exciting. I've got more coming probably next month but I'm just doing like smallish brick order so I have bits to continue working on and also I got the bricks to hopefully add a second floor to the mock thing that I started making. So this is currently what it's like. It's currently Friday so I'll be working on the city this weekend, hopefully putting together the Spring London Festival as well as like I'll be building a new car because obviously I've been waiting to do that for ages and it's finally here. So plenty of stuff to do this weekend and I'm sure I will keep you updated as much as I can so vlog incoming. <laughs> Just finished building this car, forgot to take a video of me actually knowing it but oh my god it's beautiful. The colour really stands out, I really love it. So yeah that was definitely a really fun build. Really glad I got that done today and I've got loads more stuff just all over the desk and now I'm going to be working on this mock of the Hagrid's Hut modular style so like I want to give it a second floor because at the minute it obviously doesn't okay there's a change of plan I just dropped it <laughs> so I might just restart it basically I really really liked what it was like before however I had some issues building it so maybe that this is a good time for me to reevaluate some of those issues I had and make it slightly more square and stuff so I might just I might just try it again <laughs> mostly forced but no it, it was intact enough that I could have just put it back together but I think it's probably better just to redo it and see what happens oh my gosh the most exciting delivery has just come from the Netherlands I've got a little letter and this sick fig of Petra and I'm so excited I'll leave her links down below it, this is the most exciting thing I've had in a while but four hours later and if you think that this looks pretty much the same as we had it then you would be right <laughs> but it's completely rebuilt so basically I added a second floor now but I've completely rebuilt it I made it two studs narrower um, because that would mean that the path here is more accessible and then also I made it square here, which allows for a bit of ease of building. I still have the fireplace, so I still have the light broken in there, which makes it look really cosy. And it is very cosy because there's literally no room. Um, I had to take out the comfy armchair, but I think that's okay. That's just going to be on the second floor. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to put a roof on this, um, I have to say. Right, on this snowy day, which is unexpected, time has come. To start work on this. It's kind of bittersweet because I really really want to build it but also at the same time I don't want to finish it because then there's nothing left. However, look how amazing it looks, I can't wait. Hmm. 
We're starting with these three bags. Let the knolling commence. Sorted by colour. Took a little while. About one hour later. There we have it. The first three bags of the Spring Lantern Festival. It is done! Totally my favourite feature are these koi fish. There we go. Look how beautiful they are. So as you can see I've gone a bit further with the build because I got massively drawn into it. It's such a beautiful beautiful thing. I've just finished this side of the Spring Lantern Festival and it's beautiful but I have to say when I showed you my progress last I was a bit worried about it because I really loved the way it looked but it felt really empty but as always with Lego sets and I shouldn't have doubted it like the details in the last few bags look what's arrived oh my god it's so big um this I think this is Ninjago City I don't really know what else it could be uh, I mean Ninja Ninjago Gardens, but oh my god, I just carried out the stairs and out of breath. That's really that's really pathetic. But yeah, oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my god, this is so exciting! I can't believe how big this box is. I swear, this is insane. <laughs> oh, ooh. okay. There is like packaging around. I was a bit worried. I was like, that's insanely big. Oh, it's a box in a box! Oh my gosh, that's really well packaged. That's that's pretty amazing, actually. Ooh. Oh my gosh, okay, there's more things to open. big oh my god oh my word it is here I'm so excited it's been a bloody long time coming and it was so massive oh my god um, it's gonna sit with a diner sitting yes I know I'm aware of some bleaching I've only opened the curtains because I obviously just had this thing that I wanted to unbox but oh, oh and that's me nearly falling over other stuff in this room. Oh my god, it's so big. I can't wait to get this started. It's gonna I might have to take time away this evening just to do it, but oh my god, it's so beautiful. I've not even finished this one yet. This is still here, sitting waiting for me for the other half, but oh my god guys, I can't believe it, it's here. Morning all. So I seem to recall that I said that I was going to uh, show you the finished product in better daylight today. It's still quite dark and also um, I ripped it apart sort of because as you may know from some other videos I was going to add a cycle path which I decided to start with last night even though I don't have the bricks or the base plates to do so. Um, so the pavement is sort of a mess however it's there, it looks quite nice. I think the dino works okay. I'll probably have to find something like nice that I can put on the side, like maybe a billboard or something. So just it's not so it's not just like that really it doesn't look very nice basically, it doesn't look very finished, and on the like new police module there's a nice billboard to kind of add a bit of detail on the side, so I might just do something like that. And this beautiful painting will have to move up a bit because at the minute it kind of infringes on the eye line. So that is something that I'm gonna to have to be doing. I've bought some lovely base blades, two more. I'll probably need more, but at the minute I can do, at the minute three is fine. I think I'm going to be making the pavement here dark red, just because in, in the Netherlands a lot of cycle paths are dark red, so I thought that'd be quite nice. It's not the ideal width, but five stud wides is like, we'll, we'll work with it. Um, here is like the mess I made. I, I kind of cleared it up a little bit. And then this, has been sacrificed because as we all know this is where Ninjago City is going to go so it's going to be a base plate and a half so this whole space will be taken up by it what I'm planning is I'm going to have a cycle path and then also a canal just so this, it's seamless into Ninjago City and then add like a canal in front there as well so that's the plan but as I've said to quite a lot of people in the comments as well and, and in videos 
that's likely to be a quite a few months project because it's just going to require me to buy quite a lot of bricks that I don't have. Also tiles are such a pain to get hold of. I need quite a lot of like the uh, two by two, sorry. I need quite a lot of the two by two um, dark grayish tiles. And on Lego, I think they're like six P each, but online, like on Bricklink, they're so much more expensive than that. They're kind of more than double. Even though I could, don't, don't get me wrong, I could find them much cheaper in other countries, but just any UK one is much more expensive. And at the minute I don't dare order anything from different countries of Bricklink just because the whole Brexit custom situation is a bit of a mess. So I don't want to like be hit with charges when things come my way. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's not ideal. So maybe I'll have to order them of Lego, but I think that's quite large delays on part orders because I already have two coming for like the trees that I'm adding to the city. Anyway, that's a very, very long update. The one last update we can do is I'm getting more road plates. I've ordered one more pack of road plates just so I can finish this road in front. But yeah, that's uh, that's the update for this morning. All these updates are very, very slow, but exciting for me nonetheless. Good morning, my lovely people. I thought I'd put my face in this vlog for a minute. Yes, I have put the camera down because it's very heavy to hold and if I hold it, my arm's not long enough to have me in it properly. But I just thought I actually took the camera, so... <laughs> It's more personable, I guess. Um, so as you can see, there's lots of like updates going on. I was gonna like properly show you like the Spring Lantern Festival and stuff, but when I finished building it, which was unplanned, first of all, um, I also started integrating it in the city and I was like in that mood where I was just wanting to experiment some things and there was a few bits that I found that I wanted to update and stuff like that. So I actually started my like pavement extension um, idea straight away. So it's kind of a mess right now, so I'll probably like do a review on it later on. Anyway, I'm, I'm very late to the party anyway, so my reviews are not on topic on time regardless. So if I wait a few months or so, that should be fine. So yeah, that's kind of a LEGO City update. I'll show you around now. Come over here. So there you have it. This is my tucked up knurling thing. But I had to wait for the morning to build it because it's obviously so... Um, it's really dark in the evening, so it didn't look very nice. And then this is my mess that I've made just here. As you can see, working on it, need more things, more mess, lots of mess. I'll update you later. Cool, also did not film an outro, so here is me again from the future. Thanks so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you like vlog style videos because I really love filming them. Um, I know they're a bit sporadic, but it's kind of really fun. The only, I tried filming all of this on my really, on the big camera that I have. Um, the only issue is that it doesn't autofocus, so like focusing everything is quite hard with it. So I might just go back to my potato camera that, you know, doesn't have the best quality ever but it's much easier to pick up and just kind of really quickly show you things. I will be with you next time. I will be filming a little video on my minifigure display updates because I have ordered a whiteboard, so things are happening there. I'm updating some of the other displays. There's lots of work going on in my city. So yeah, lots of updates coming your way soon. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you later. Hello.